It's the 10th, y'all. Eight seventeen in the PM. Well, my clock is fast, so there that. August twenty third. That's my daughter' birthday. My oldest child' birthday. But I just got a Amazon package. I busted open about eight fifteen. It came. So this is what I got. The rarity of puzzles. So I got these in it. I'm gonna get rid of. I saw another one. I uh want. I'm gonna order that. I got. I always write. I always date my stuff. Let's have fun. And then I write a little message that said, "Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing me to be able to do this this research of a rarity puzzle. I appreciate it." <laughs> Just having a man, you know, being able to write, think, all of that. So, we got word search, Sudoku, 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 word scramble, number search, trivia, amazing. And then got the solutions. The solutions. So, let's have fun, y'all. Ooh, y'all see them the answers, the mazes. Ooh, trivias. <coughs> Say trivia. And then you got find the numbers. So I'm getting ready to <clears throat> start on them. What is this? Word scramble. And I wasn't never really good at this, but I'm gonna try my hand at it many years later. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I don't never skip through my book, I go in order. So I'm ready to get ready. And I used to time myself, y'all. See how long it takes. So I'm getting ready to do this one. Assorted words number one. Oh see that that's my shadow. So these the words. All right, let the fun begin. Hey, see you when I see you. Okay, so I started at 8.29. I finished at 8. 8.35. Took me six minutes to do this one. How many words? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 words. So, yeah, six minutes. Rain probably would have finished this in about four minutes. Because I, I was good. But when I started giving them these word searches for homeschooling, I could never beat her. I could never finish before her, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to do this one now. I can't hold the camera, hold the camera and do it, but I will show y'all how I be doing it. Like I'm gonna need another battery because I need my right hand to move. So it's like it's a it's eight. What time? What time? I'm going to call eight thirty-seven. I'll say glass me. I'll see. I'll see. I'm messing with my tan. Wait, I don't know my hand. Aqua Nation is jacked up. Boiler. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that word is. But that's okay. Then we got tan. EBR. There you go. Okay. Kareemed. Hmm. Guapa Tigos. That is later. Is it S? Ma Harishi. Huh? Ma. Ma. Huh. Don't count hard, y'all. Whatever it. 
What did I say? Oh, M A H. I'm looking for that. Just messed me up. I'm still looking for M A R. Hmm. Okay. Massaged. Mm. Neglects. Hmm. Pollens. Pollens. Okay. Penetrations. There you go, right there. Uh, personage or whatever. Hmm. 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 Where you at? All the way at the bottom. I don't see that. Pikers. Pikers. Hmm. Where you at, Pikers? Baby. There you go. Like Pikers. Prosthetic. P R O S. Hmm. Rebuked. Ah, <laughs> my favorite word. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Salute. S A L. Hmm, it's a lot of S's. Hmm. Okay. Y'all trying to give me a run for my money. Salute. Y'all see salute? S S S. That's a loot. Oh, right here, y'all. The camera's in the way. You don't blame the camera. Sybils. S I B. There we go. Stopped. There we go. Oops, that's too bad. Tattled. T A T T. Huh. Oh, y'all don't like that word. Tattled. T A. Oh, here you go. Throwing me off. Termite. Hmm. Where you at, termite? Oh, there you go. Tildes or teals? What's that? T I O. T I. There you go. Oops. Last one. Yard. Yardum. And there we go. So let's see. It's 843. Let's see how long did it take? 37, 39, 41, 46 weeks. Huh. 37, 39, 41, 46 weeks. Six weeks, y'all. Y'all saw me in all kind of action. Found all the words. Blaspheme. To yard them. Hmm. Okay. See you when I see you. Thanks for keeping me company and watching me while I finish my word search. Who you know? <laughs> Peace. Hey, peeps. How you doing today? You doing good? That's good, y'all. How I'm doing? You ask. <laughs> Woo! I'm, I'm doing good, y'all. I'm doing good. I'm coming. That's all I got. I'm coming. My falls, that's not feeling good. On whatever level. We're going to send this prayer up to my heavenly father. Should I put a coffee drop in? I'm going to try to go as long as I can. Without, I need to change my bag out. I need a new bag, y'all. Y'all see my bag? I had to, I had to re up the other day when I went out Thursday. Cause, yeah, I'm serious. So I'm gonna try to go as long as I can without having to suck on no cough drop. Cause the things they be doing something to me. But anyways, for those that's not feeling good on whatever level. We're going to send this prayer up to my Heavenly Father. And he's going to catch it. And he's going to show up. Show up and show out. I'm still on the struggle bus. That ain't changed. I don't know. I think from here on out, I might just be on the struggle bus. Because ah, it is what it is, right? Here we go. Oh, I feel some motion on my hand. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We pray for any and everybody that is not feeling good in their minds, their bodies, their spirit, and their soul. We pray that you come through, you heal them, deliver them, set them free from any and everything that's keeping them bound in their minds and in their hearts. In Jesus' name. And Father, 
We're going to lift the thoughts that don't lose loved ones. And we're going to take a moment of silence. We pray that you heal their hearts, you comfort their hearts, you strengthen their hearts, you encourage their hearts, and you strengthen their hearts in Jesus' name. And Father, <clears throat> we're going to lift up those that's in the hospital or at home bed, bam. And we're going to touch and agree with them for full and complete healing and recovery in Jesus' name. Because by Jesus' stripes, we are healed. No weapon formed against us shall and will prosper. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world. Amen, amen, and amen. Got her done. Got her done, y'all. Who you know? Oh, wow. Well, losing bars. But that's okay. That'll keep me focused. Losing bars will keep me focused. Yeah, keep me, keep, um, keep me moving right along. So, without further ado, ado <laughs> let's get into the date. Yeah. Keep sending prayers over. The prayers of the righteous of Bella Flood. I receive it in Jesus' name. I suppose this. I don't really feel like one of my pens done exploded in my cup because every time I get something out of there, I end with a whole bunch. I end up having a whole bunch of ink on my hand. Like, I gotta go through it and see. Oh, wow. It's always something to do. Okay, so we're fit to get into the date. And the weather. That's what we fit it up. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I gotta go to the laundromat tomorrow, y'all. I'm gonna watch like five comforters. I'll be having these comforters thick. My, my machine can't handle these comforters. It used to. But now, it can't. So, today is. <clears throat> February the 11th. Right? What the 11th at? Right there. Put it eleven there, y'all. There you go, right there. At two seventeen in the PM. Whew. So today is Saturday. Safe Saturday. Yeah, simple Saturday. All that. I like safe. When people be doing the most on the weekend, just be safe. Keep it simple. For real. Um, the weather. So, let's see what the weather is in the shot today. Okay. Oh, let's see, y'all. The hubby said it was nice out there. So, sunny and milder. Yeah, I work. Son, I'm the only one here. Rain on her way, though. That might be her. So, Saturday, February 11th. That's her. Sunny and Matter. The real feel is 90, 49, 90. Oh, jeez, I'm going ahead of myself. The real feel in the shade is 44. Front door. The max wind gusts. 20. I told you before, the maximum gust is 20 miles per hour. Yeah. You said how many I get? I told you before, I got four. Some people have more than that. Some have them in the in, inside of their house, too. Well, when you get your place, you will see. It all depends on where you live at, too, but maybe not. Some people probably just want to make sure their perimeter is secured. So, she asked she asked me how many you fees I got, y'all. It was crowded today, wasn't it? Saturday Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, probably because Valentine's Day. This is the last weekend. Right, that girl checked me out. She checked me out the customer service. I said, thank you. This is, uh... 
What's your hair get? Huh? She checked you out? Yeah, I got some water. Oh. Uh, you want me to bring you a case back tomorrow? Yeah. Can you, you gonna cash out me the money? Nope. Well, you ain't gonna get no water, though. You got to cash out me. Junior set me up. My son, he set me up with a cash app, y'all. Y'all want my cash <laughs> Ah, So when they want something back. Well, the son, he started it. Normally when I go out, he be like, want stuff. And he be cash apping me some money and stuff. Oh, I got a cash app card, too. Oh, it's in my wallet. I got the card, but... It's a way he set it up that I like that better, but I do have a card. I need to find, I need to find a pen to that card and everything. She asked me how many Yuffies I got. I got four. I don't think that's too many. I got one so I can see who coming onto the porch. And with Trigger, I only had one out there at first, y'all. But it's this female. It's this male lady female. Male lady female. Male, lady, and female. Same thing, right? Y'all already know. I'm, I'm just discobob lady. Y'all know when I'm back. Y'all know. Maybe not. This is probably my new normal. <laughs> but anyway, I was telling y'all. But anyway, she just distracted me. Y'all know I'll come back. So, it's this female. She be leaving. She was, she, look, she throw my packages up there on the porch, right? Then she had the nurse. It's the, it was like, it was a nice size box. Why is she leaving all the way at the bottom ledge of the steps? I'm like, seriously. And so, it's like 310. One time, the Yuffie picked it up. I had downloaded it. Because I was going to go up there to the post office and show them what she be doing to my packages. And I'm like, ooh, we're going to keep it moving. So, I was like, nah. I ain't gonna get her in trouble. I ain't, you know. But I got my eyes on you. I'm watching you. So I see the one time coming up on the porch. Normally she don't come on the porch. She just throw everything up there, boom, like you know, like. So she came. Actually came on the porch and put the mail in the mailbox. I guess because she had mail. Normally package, she just throw them. Like, you don't know if I have something breakable up in there, something fragile up in there. Like, come on, man. Quit playing. So, anyways, she put the mail in the mailbox, and I see it on the Yuffie. When she finished opening up the mailbox, she looked back. I'm like, I peeped it, but I ain't think nothing of it. And so, I went out there to get the mail, and I noticed something different on my, uh... I got these little snowflakes going around my mailbox. I wasn't even, I wasn't even, when I didn't even go out there looking for nothing. But I knew something was off the way I had centered it. It wasn't centered no more. So I looked on the wall and I'm like, oh, the little, like a garland, it came off the little hook we had it hooked to. And I'm like, did she accidentally knock that? Or did she did it on purpose, right? Because, I don't know, it's just something about her. The way she just throw my stuff, like, yeah, we get a lot of packages here. Like, she just <clears throat> got a whole attitude. I'm like, she got the right one. You know, I had to talk to the hubby, but he reasonable. <laughs> I'm like, she'll put around and lose her job full with me. I would, I would, would take every video up there and show them. I don't care like that. I do not care. You know? But so, anyways, I fixed it. And so when I hit the hook and back up there, I'm like, how did that even come out? Because it's it was secured. And I'm like, did she? I don't know. But it triggered me to get me another Yuffie so I can see my, because the one that I got up now, it just see when people come on my porch, right? Who coming on my porch? But I got one I just bought. It's where it's facing my mailbox and my front door area where I can see it real good. So, if anybody tried to pull some shenanigans, I got you. I got you. So, that's what triggered that. I got two on the back. I got one that's the out. Huh? That I like them. It was too much cheese for me. You might like them. 
Yeah, it's small. Yeah, you can. I put his in the microwave. But I had put mine in the stove. But it really don't matter. He liked them. But he said that ain't something he'll eat again. <laughs> so, I got another one that goes out. Just look out into the alley. Anybody come on my porch. The sun go in my, by my garbage can. I can see all that. But, one night, I was watching my Yuffie. I always check them before I, you know, delete some at night. And I was going through it, and I saw some flashlights, right? And so what happened is, on the side, it was like three three cops, three policemen, cops. Like, all in my yard, y'all, just with the flashing out. Look, I guess they was looking for somebody. They flashing out. I got a basement. It's a part in on the outside where you could go into the basement. They was right there. They came all in the yard, all just everywhere. It was like three or four of them. And so I had sent them to my daughter because I only saw two of my other daughters. Like, ain't this one in the alley walking away? I'm like, what is they doing? Oh, they, just, they look like they want to come on the porch. So, but that's kind of what's my blind spot on this side where this house used to be at. So I bought a Yuffie. Yes, I did. So I can see out in uh, that perimeter. So therefore, I have four. I can see out that way, the alley, and I can see this way. And then I can see out that way, and then I can see my front door in my mailbox. Because people be doing too much. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. That's all I'm saying. Don't play with me. Okay. So that was that. Why she talking about I got too many. It's purpose. I only had two. The cops, the police is all around my whole perimeter looking for people. Trigger the other one. And then that female that sit up and be throwing my packages and I think she did something to my stuff. Trigger that one. So I can catch her action. So yeah, that's that. So let's get back to <laughs> the weather. Who is that? Alright. You don't want your job, girl. Go on somewhere. You gonna fool around. I mean, like I told the hubby, I'm like, I don't know if people be getting having uh, cameras and stuff, but if she throwing my stuff like that, he said she probably doing other people's stuff like that. But I'm like, I don't know. It's, I'm around a lot of old people. And I'm like, they might not be having cameras and stuff. I was like, but she got the right one. He said she probably do that to other people's stuff. Okay. She, God, you sent her to the right person. I ain't call her doing nothing yet. I'm like, damn. But... I'm prepared. That's all I'm saying. I'm prepared. So let's get back to the weather. So I was talking about the max wind gusts, which is 20 miles per hour. And the sun rose. The sun rose at 6.52 this morning. It's supposed to set at 5.19 this evening. Okay. We're going to be at 5.30, then 6 o'clock, and then 8 o'clock, and then 8.30. Okay. So, today has 47. Sunday has 50. Monday has 49. Tuesday has 49. Wednesday has 54. And Thursday has 52. It's looking good, Charlie. Looking good. Tuesday supposed to rain or something. I don't know if that's rain or snow. Oh, that's rain. Okay. Tuesday supposed to rain. So, family got her done. So, what's next, peeps? Uh, oh, I want to show y'all something. I got this yesterday from Amazon. I have ordered this. I see this. It's a walls counts candle go right there. But I don't think I'm putting no candle right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tweak my bedroom just a little bit. I'm gonna take them little canvases out and I'm gonna replace them with I got two. It's just a couple of things I'm kinda over that I saw these. I'm like, ooh, I like these. So they're gonna go over my bed where them three canvases at. And I got something else I want to buy. And they hang up like this. So it's easy. 
for the hubby to hang them. Got these little things on y'all see. So yeah, I want to show y'all that. And then I think I have recorded my word search, my uh book I had ordered from Amazon yesterday and it came yesterday. Something to do in my downtown. I have downtown people. I have downtown, y'all. <laughs> so I showed y'all me doing the uh a couple of word searches, timing myself. Took me six minutes for each one. Um, but I wanted to do a Sudoku cause Sudoku, Sudoku. She ain't be doing it. She said, Ma, they hard. So I tried my hand at it. I figured it out. And I here gave her a tutorial. I figured it out. I kind of looked in the back for this part up there to make sure I was doing it right. But the rest of it I did on my own. So I felt like I, I, I felt smart. <laughs> So I done started another one. It is. It's challenging. It really is. So, but I didn't cheat. I didn't look in the back for nothing. I did this. I have a, a technique how to do these. So right now, I started from the bottom and I'm working my way up. And I haven't looked in the back yet. So if I get stuck, stuck, I will look in the back. So, But I'm trying to do it without having to look in the back. And I did a maze, y'all. I did a whole maze. What a maze at. I like stuff like this. My mama used to do these all the time. Come home from school, she'd be in her bed doing word searches. When she was working, she'd take one to school to work with her. And they're real uh, therapeutic. Where's my maze is at? Where's my maze? Seriously, maze. Oh, yeah. So I did this maze last night. Mm. I did it with my ass first, then I traced it. Cause I just, I just follow it. So I won't have to be doing a whole lot of erasing like I'm doing with the Sudoku. I had to pull out the pencil for the Sudoku. 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 And then I saw another one I want to get. And oh, it looked real good. But this was cheaper. And I got it the same day. This was like $5.95. The other one was like $13 or something. So, yeah, I'll probably get it for next week. So when baby Shan come up here, me and her going I could really show her how to do these Sudokus. Sud Sudo Sudoku. Sudoku. Y'all know I don't know how to pronounce nothing. So, yeah, I want to show y'all that. So, we done got all that out the way. Oh, I done lost so many bars, y'all. Telling y'all this story about why. Explaining why I got four Yuffies. I bought all of them. So. Okay, y'all. Here we go. Let's get into the read. And the new Bible cure for depression and anxiety. I'm like, when people be doing stuff like that, they don't know. See, how she was throwing my stuff up there and just leaving my stuff at the bottom of the steps and everything. And the, the neighbor across the street, yeah, I'm going to go down the rabbit hole. And, and he, was, he even came out. He like, she was just too lazy to bring it upstairs, you know, up, to, up the stairs and stuff. And so I was like, okay, cool. But see, when people be doing stuff, See now, she she probably didn't know I I got that camera right there because hey, people don't be looking up like that. But you don't know who path you crossing when you doing stuff like that. Now I I I be on the struggle bus. Yeah, God, I told y'all he knew. He came down there and he snatched me. He saved me from a lot of stuff. Because he knew, he knew, he knew, he knew. He said, Sharon, I got bigger things for you to do. Because <laughs> right now you be, you be being petty. <laughs> you on petty stuff right now. <laughs> I'm really not petty, but I don't play. That's the thing. I don't play, I don't play. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, I don't. But anyways, now, I had to, I had to really sit and think. Do I want to confront her? When she, cause I, cause my youth is gonna go out so she, before she even get to my steps, and I can catch her coming up these steps or by my steps and go out there and ask her why you be throwing my stuff. 
on my porch. What's the problem? That's my favorite thing. What's the problem? <laughs> but I'm like, Father, I don't think that's really what you want me to do because if she responds, like her response could trigger something. So I said, it's cool. I keep it professional. I keep it professional. I just take take the video because I can download the videos that it record and I can just take it up there to the post office and show them. And I had her face real good. Look what she doing. Now that could, that could start some stuff. You know, that really, she, she don't know. So lady, she don't deliver that often because I got like four or five people deliver over here now. But every now and again, she come through. Lately, I wonder if she know I got my camera, y'all. She been acting like she got some sense. But in case she slip up, I got her. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not going to confront her. Oh, I'm not going to confront her. But I had to struggle with that, 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 that. I had to process that. And I had to analyze that. And I had to, like, pray about that. And I talked to the hubby because he be trying. He, he reasonable. Then he don't want me to take it up there. You, she may lose her job. Or she better act like she want her job. I'm just throwing my stuff up here. I pay, I'm paying for that. I pay for that box too. I'm just throwing my stuff. But anyway, y'all, here we go. Um, Chapter 3. Y'all know I go down a rabbit hole real quick. Joy feel living with new thought patterns. There it is, right there. Got to renew the mind about things. The things I used to do, I don't do no more. The way I used to act, I don't act no more. But God, He already know. He got all the glory. All the glory goes to my Heavenly Father. And the Holy Spirit. For real. Be checking me. Sharing. Check. Okay. All right, okay. And so we in distortional thought patterns. And I'm getting ready to read the last one. And the last one is called The Blame Game. Ooh, this one gonna be good, y'all. Here we go. Many depressed and anxious people are stuck in a trap of blaming others or God. This creates a vicious cycle of thinking and feeling that leads to anger, resentment, bitterness, depression, and anxiety. People with a victim mentality ooh, fit within this group. Oh, my throat fit to start itching, y'all. <clears throat> hey, I don't, I, I don't want them one of them vapor cools. That's a beer one. I'm going to take a mile in a day. Okay. It's a process. People within a victim mentality fit within this group of faulty thinkers. They feel that they are victims ooh, of circumstances and everything bad. That happened to them is someone else's fault. Jack. An example of this form of thinking includes, quote, It's her fault, point to his wife, that I lost my job because she made me late by not having my breakfast ready. <laughs> this person has not taken responsibility. That's what it is right there. And that's true because God had to show me me. He had to show me me. For real. To break free from this distortion of thought pattern, it's important to realize that the blame game keeps you from taking responsibility for your own failures and shifts the blame onto someone else. Blame locks you in the past. It also prevents you from examining yourself mm, 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 and recognizing and removing thought patterns and mindsets that continue to sabotage your life. Ooh. He hitting it on the head, y'all. Instead of blaming, take responsibility for your mistakes. Forgive yourself and refuse to blame someone else. And that's the blame game. But outside of that, 
Some stuff you went through, just not your fault. You know what I'm saying? But you still, God still gonna work on you and be like, it's okay. I'm gonna heal you, and you're gonna learn how to let that go. You know, that feeling that you feel right there, I'm gonna work on that. And you're gonna have peace. You're gonna have love and everything. You know, I'm gonna give you the fruits of the Spirit I get. So, outside of the blame game, sometimes people do stuff. And it just ain't your fault. You know, what well, you got to take responsibility for. Yeah, my fault might be letting you treat me like this, talk to me like this, and so forth and so on. But okay. I just had to add that. Yeah. Blame locks you in the past. It also prevents you from examining yourself and recognizing and removing thought patterns. And man says that continues to sabotage your life. Instead of blaming, take responsibility for your mistakes. Forgive yourself and refuse to blame someone else. If it is someone else's fault, then simply forgive them. There it is. Realize that forgiveness is a decision. That's true. Not a feeling. That's true. Choose today to forgive rather than blame. Amen. Not for the sake of the other person. Wow. But for the sake of your own emotional and physical well-being and that's what my heavenly father was trying to tell me <laughs> i get it though i get it now i'm good today but it was a process y'all it's a process it don't happen overnight okay confession from god's word here we go i release all blame to over myself to over others and to over god oh because people do blame god that's something i never did i grew up fearing the lord y'all that fear got in me when I was in grammar school. God word says, Bless are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I choose to forgive and cancel the debt, even though I was hurt. Oh, I felt that. Forgiveness is a commandment. And I realize if I do not forgive, I will not be forgiven. Mm. Check. That's in Mark chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. I refuse to blame or rehash any hurt or pain. I realize that forgiveness is a decision and not a feeling. I choose, I choose, you choose, to forgive instead of blame. Wow, got her done. Man, all these, these, nine, these ten distortional thought patterns was deep. Deep. And God, you are showing up. I mean, you showing out. Because it can't number God do this. This ain't nothing but a God thing, y'all. Today is 2 11 23 Saturday. Safe Saturday. Simple Saturday. What happened to that on your racer? Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. And I'm not going to do a read for my um, prayers that avail much because. Um, I did enough talking and chit chatting, but again, I hope y'all enjoyed this read. And I hope you pond on it and uh, and renew your mind about things. You know, let it go. I know it's easy to say let it go, like let it go, but no, things has to happen. Healing has to happen. Forgiveness has to happen. You know, a lot has to happen, and we can't do this on our own because if we do this on our own, that trigger. Gonna have you back. You take two, three steps forward, it's gonna put you back five steps. I think it takes God and the Holy Spirit to keep you from backtracking. You know what I'm saying? And undoing all the progress you have made in your journey, you know? So, yeah, it's a process, but it can be done. I'm a witness of that, you know? But, yeah, I already went down the rabbit hole and I ain't got no room for no more. So, again, I hope y'all enjoy that read. Eventually, my hair gonna look different. Well, it be looking different, but y'all be able to see the whole way. My baby Shan come up here and do my hair. <laughs> so, on that note, y'all, I hope everybody have a blessed Saturday. No, this, no, 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 no.
this is going to be my Monday video. I'm making it Saturday. Sunday, I got to go to the laundromat. And I got a little ripping and running around to do. So, it's just best for me to make it on Saturdays. Because the sun be off on Sundays. And that be our time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, have a blessed Monday. Safe Monday. A productive Monday. Get her done on whatever level. And a protective Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I might put up a video Wednesday. We'll see. But if not... Have a protective Wednesday, Thursday. And I see y'all back at the table on Friday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace, love, share some, and what?